Hi and welcome to the fourth video of the Clarity PPM Getting Started series. I'm Katherine Ellis, a product manager with Clarity PPM. In our previous video, we saw how you can use custom investments to create a strategic plan and use roadmaps to present strategic investments to the executive team. In this video, we will learn how employees in the organization can submit ideas that will help implement the organization's strategy. You will also learn how you can quickly evaluate and approve the best ideas and reject unwanted ideas before they become high-risk investments that consume resources. Let's log into Clarity PPM, navigate to the Ideas page. Let's click an existing idea that is present on the grid. You can see the details associated with the idea. However, you notice that there are certain fields such as planned cost and planned ROI missing here. These details help you quickly evaluate an idea. You can ask your administrator to use idea blueprints and configure layouts for ideas based on your business requirements. You can open the administration page and create a copy of the standard idea blueprint. You can then add a new section and financial fields like planned cost, planned benefit, planned NPV, and planned ROI. We can now save and publish the blueprint and make it the default blueprint for all new and existing ideas. Let's get back to the ideas grid and add the relevant fields to the grid. We can now save this view as the new ideas view. Employees can now use this view to create a new idea and populate relevant details. Let's select an idea submitted by an employee. If we don't want to select an idea and drill into it, we can simply configure the details panel to show all the details we need to evaluate an idea. After we evaluate an idea, we can simply approve the best ideas that fit our business requirements and give feedback on other ideas so that our teams can work on improving them. Now that you have approved relevant ideas, let's filter for unapproved ideas that have an ROI between 100 and 200 percent so that we can review them again before rejecting them or sending them back for feedback. In case you want to develop a business process to evaluate ideas, you can simply use the board layout to create and follow the process. Let's open the Ideas Board Layout. The layout sorts the items in the plan by status and displays them. You can use the Columns tab to decide which columns should be visible in the board layout. Let's create a new pick list which includes the steps you want to follow to get ideas ready for approval. A pick list enables you to quickly and easily create new ways of segregating and evaluating ideas. Select the new pick list to refresh the board layout. We can also update the color of the ideas based on their current state in the process. You can now drag and drop ideas to different states while evaluating them. If you want to learn more about an idea, just click it and review the details associated with it in the Configurable Details panel. I am sure you now understand how you can quickly evaluate and approve the best ideas and reject unwanted ideas in Clarity PPM. Thank you for watching this video on getting started with demand management. In the next video, I will explain how you can create projects in Clarity PPM so that you can track them, manage them, and ensure they are completed on time and on budget. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.